Astra, and this is going to be another Blue Narwhal video, but in this one, it's going to be more math. So why don't we just go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to learn the 7th times table pizza trick. Um, so this trick is going to be the easiest you can find, and let's get started. So... You probably already know 7 times 1 to 7 times 10. But lots of people have questions like what is 7 times 18? What is 7 times 83? What is 7 times 76? And what is 7 times 831? Well, people have these types of questions more than these small questions. Okay? And it's okay because the higher um, the fact is, the more likely that it's harder. I'm gonna show you a trick that is gonna make this table seem like the easiest table ever to you. Let's get started. Here is the pizza trick. I've listed two facts like usual here. I have seven times two, and seven times four. As usual, we will be circling these and putting a full pizza above it. Then we are going to multiply those numbers by two. So two times two equals four. So four is going to be in our ones place. And then four times two equals eight. And eight is going to be in our ones place. And then we are going to divide them by 2, times 2, and then divided by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and that's going to be in the tens place. 4 divided by 2 equals 2, and that's also going to be in our tens place. Here, we have our answers. 7 times 2 equals 14, and 7 times 4 equals 28. See how easy the seventh table is now? Let's solve seven times six with the pizza trick. What is seven times six? I'm gonna circle the six, put the full pizza. And six times two equals 12, so we're gonna put it right here. We're gonna add a placeholder zero because 12 has more than one digit. And then, 6 divided by 2 equals 3, and when you put that in front of the placeholder 0, it is 30. After that, we must add 12 and 30, which equals 42. 42 is our answer, and 7 times 6 equals 42. Let's solve 7 times 3 with the pizza trick. What is 7 times 3? We're going to circle the 3 and put it right here. Okay, and 3 times 2 equals 6. After that, we're going to take the half of 3, which is 1.5. Since 3 is an odd number, we will need to take this little dot away from 1.5. That's only because 1.5 is a decimal. When we take the dot away, it is 15. And then 6 plus 15 equals 21, which makes 21 our answer, and 7 times 3 equals 21. Let's solve 7 times 15 with the pizza trick. So guys, this is the first two-digit odd number in this tutorial. So this is going to be a little harder, but I'm going to show you. Okay, so 15 times 2 equals 30. The half of 15 is 7.5. Since 7.5 is a decimal, we will be taking the dot away to make it 75. 30 plus 75 equals 105. 105 is our answer, and 7 times 15 equals 105. Let's solve 7 times 18 using the pizza trick. 
What is 7 times 18? This is going to be our first two digit even number. 18 times 2 equals 36. We're going to add our placeholder 0 because 36 has more than one digit in it. The half of 18 is 9, so we're going to put it next to the placeholder 0, which makes it 90. After that, we're going to add 36 plus 90, which equals 126. 126 is our answer. And that means 7 times 18 equals 126. Let's solve one more big number with our pizza trick. This is going to be our last one, guys. What is 7 times 64? Circle 64. And 64 times 2 equals 128. We're going to add our placeholder 0. The half of 64 is 32, so when we put that next to our placeholder, it is 320. 128 plus 320 equals 448. 448 is our answer, and 7 times 64 equals 448. See how easy the 7th table is even with the big number? So, I hope you liked that video. Don't forget to like subscribe and ring that little bell icon daily so you can um, keep track of my videos if you liked it. Bye!